Hello? <clears throat> Are we live? Hello? Uh, Alright. So today I'm going to be making my basic grounded tutorial. I've made a whole like world for it up here. There you go. So we're just going to try this out. Yeah. This is like a basic tutorial. It's not like super super in depth. But I just didn't want to include any spoilers in it. Um, like in the story or like just in general really I mean there are f the only spoilers there are is like the first five minutes of the story so it's not really that much it's just like yeah all right just on the loading screen here These loading screens do take quite a bit sometimes, but you can like maybe skip ahead a little bit to get past it. Just don't go too far. Oh, here we go. We're already here. So basically, this is the game of Grounded. You're shrunk down to like a super tiny size, and uh, you you basically fight loads of insects and stuff, and you can gather resources. Um, right. There's all these these all these markers here. They're not normally in the game. It's just because I I was setting up the tutorial. And I just had to remember where stuff was. So yeah, all right. So um, the, these little stations aren't here in the actual game, by the way. These little workbench and chest stations. They're just in the tutorial setup. But anyway, just I just got some basic we well not basic sorry uh, advanced weapons here, so we can protect ourselves. This is creative mode, so obviously I can like craft what I want and stuff. But it's just better for the demonstration of the tutorial. All right. So first over here, we can collect some basic resources like plant flavor. That's used in quite a lot of recipes. Um, got some mushrooms over here for food. We'll talk about that later. Sprigs, those are really good. Uh, let's see if we can find any pebble. Oh, there we go. So those three items are always very good. Uh, we can also get some sap off this leaf. Right, there you go. Not leaf, sorry, twig. So here we go. We're at the resource station. There's a little note here. There's all these little notes around you have to collect. Two granola bars. They're really granola bars are like one of the best healing items in the game. To be honest. Well, logic yeah, but, dictates that there are. Okay, so we have three things in here. Maybe if we I have the resource surveyor. Some clues, um, or some quote. one. There's Brilliant. probably more anyway. going on with that. Oh my goodness, Pete! I should go check it out some more. Brilliant. Anyway, um, there's this resource surveyor which is unpowered at the moment because we haven't uh, gone that far into the story. Basically, it searches for like nearby items. We got our ASL ASL terminal where we can spend some of our resources. That's also offline. And then we've also got our resource analyzer, which is the only thing that's online. So yeah, I don't think we will unlock any new recipes since this is creative mode. But if you scan this, yeah, it usually gives you like, loads of recipes. But obviously it's easier to, to do this demonstration in creative mode because then you don't have something like killing you every five minutes. Alright, so what we got to do to progress the story, it said to head over to this little machine here called the Mysterious Machine. Uh, it's a little tape here. If you grab that, it's like an audio log, but I don't want it to bore you with that. It's just a bit annoying sometimes. Okay, to press this little button here. And looks like, looks like the lasers are blocked. With those lasers. I don't think that works and properly. And this one it seems like the machine needs all three lasers to function. Maybe there's so a way to fix build it. a workbench here. Forgot about this part. Um, let's build a quick workbench. You obviously can't do this in survival. Can't just get a workbench down. And then I uh, need an axe. So just go down. There we go. There's, there's, by the way, there's three tiers of uh, items. 
the first one being the first one you'll get, the second one being the second one you get, and then the third one being the like the best one and the final one. So like they all these all these different ones can get cut like different amounts of things, and then all these hammers cut, like bust different amounts of things. Right. Let's make the termite axe just in case you run into anything advanced we want to cut down. For the grass, we only need a tier one axe though, so that's fine. Let's drop it down. You just it's just a free hit combo with uh, RT, and you get these little grass planks from it, which are good for building. All right, now we gotta go and see what's weakening the laser. But one problem is there are probably gonna be some enemies over here, so we can uh, get one of our weapons out. Mm. Which one? We could use Salt Morning Star. It's always a nice one. one. Obviously, you won't have these weapons at the start. Um, you usually probably have a Peblet Spear, which is one, one of the most basic weapons. But this Salt Morning Star is like really advanced. But uh, obviously, I just got it for demonstration. Now, if you press Y and RB on a creature, you can peep it. So if you go in your inventory and scroll across the data, you get this little card of them. And you've got loads of info, weaknesses, resistances. It's really cool. More about the uh, inven more about the like inventory area. You have the all your uh, items in the inventory section. The status step section is for mutations. We don't have any unlocked yet. Uh, those are more like mid game. You can craft all our things here. Obviously, you only have a few crafting recipes at the start, but this is creative mode, so I have them all. Uh, there you go. And then you can use LT and RT to scroll along them. Some some you need like workbenches for, or these like meals here you need a cookery for. The map is obviously just the map, it's got loads of map landmarks on the places you marked and discovered. We've got our quests here, and then obviously our, that. We've got our notes we found earlier. Um, we just get this stuff at the start, and then there's these places we've discovered before. And then finally the OS area. Uh, you can find these little watches around the map which can change like your interface. And then also along the side here you have like uh, talking just about all the different things in the game. Like all the different elements and what they do to different bugs. So yeah. Anyway, uh, we should probably get to the, over to this laser. Um, I think it's in this, yeah it's right. Oh, there you go. Keep on going. Whoa! Why don't you just stay over there, small right. red insect? We have our lawn. We have our lawn mites here. These guys are on the angry section, and they have weaknesses but no resistances. They're weak to chopping and stabbing. So, axes do chopping damage and spears do stabbing. So, I guess we could use our termite axe we have over here. Uh, here we go. And they have no resistances, so there's nothing to worry about there. Oh. There we go. We can pick up his body parts. Now, this is just the basic combat in the game. You can you can block, which is just holding it down. You'll take some damage. Or you can perfect block, where you see yellow sparks, which means you perfectly timed the attack. Quite hard to do sometimes. I'll try and do it here. Oh. I, I am a bit rusty at this game in general, to be honest. I wasn't very good at perfect blocking at the start, but let's see if I could try. Oh, no. Well, at least I got the regular block. Perfect blocks aren't necessary. Alright. Oh, oh my. So many of these little guys die. Put a little workbench down here, and then we can make a torch. Try and find it. You can only equip torches with one-handed weapons, which are just, obviously, you can see one-handed weapons, because they're just weapons you hold with one hand. Um, here we have our torch. Alright, there you go. Oh. Got to kill all these guys on the wire. Right. I'm expecting a jump scare. Yeah, I can see them right there. It's not necessary to craft a torch down down here, but it's just nice for you guys to actually be able to see. Oh, here we go. Yeah. 
Now, if we can to other bugs, we, we can take advantage of their weaknesses as well, which will be good. These guys are obviously chopping us heavy. Oh. There you go. Alright, that's done. Um, now we can chop through these little pebbles here. You need a hammer for this. Only tier 1 though. Can you just get, make yourself a pebblet hammer you can get through here? And uh, we go around here. It's, it's a pretty cool room. There's these things called... Now, we have sturdy quartzite and sturdy marble. These... And then we have one of those scabby Scrabby. things I was talking about earlier. Uh, if you go in the OS section, you can. It's night time right now, so change out to Night Rider, and you've just got a different. Additional uh, flavors available. Really cool. Yeah. Uh, and now usually you probably have, have to eat one of these granola bars because you probably would have took some damage there. Um, now we have s some sturdy marble and some sturdy quartzite. The quartzite's used for upgrading weapons, and the marbles used for upgrading armor. And then there's different tiers of it, so you need a tier 2 hammer for this stuff. I've got a tier 3, luckily. But um, there's Brittle, which is the tier 1 version. Uh, there's the Sturdy, which is the tier 2 version. Uh, and then there's the Supreme, which is the tier 3. So, like, the Brittle's probably used from, like, I think it's, like, level 1 to 5. And then the Sturdy's, like, level... I think it's like five to seven or something and then the supreme's like level eight and nine so yeah of your weapons you can upgrade your weapons down different paths so there's a set there's a few different ones there's mighty which is just default uh and then we have uh sour which is like one of the elements um there's also fresh uh spicy um let me think of the others salty yeah and then different bugs are, are weak to different ones, as you can see through the peeper. So we got to keep using that little peeper we have. See if we can find any more weaknesses things have. Right. Now we should be able to turn the mysterious machine on. We just press on a little button here. There we go. Powering up, but obviously the whole game is about getting big, so you're not sure immediately going to get big. This little wire explodes uh, the oak tree over there, so we got to go and investigate that. Uh, my bad. Right. Um. Before we do that, though, we have a few stations I've made for like the general tu tutorial. So we have station A over here. Um. This thing's called a trail marker, by the way. It just it's really useful. You can set custom markers with it. Uh, it's in here. So, there are some uh, things you have to worry about. So, there's an underwater section in the game. There's like a big pond, which is... I'll try and mark it on the map. There's a big pond that's... Yeah, all this blue here. That's a big pond. You have breathing, limited breathing time. So, the normal breathing time is 40 seconds. And then, if you have this uh, thing in the chest over here, the gill tube... Uh, which you uh, can equip as armor so it goes in the helmet slot that it, it goes in the head slot like that and you equip it with x I feel there a little less squishy now. and then that lets you breathe for a that lets you breathe for 80 seconds and then we got our bubble helmet over here uh, which lets you breathe for 160 seconds which is a lot um and then we've also got our gas mask there's this area on the map called the Haze, uh, that's just toxic gas. If you don't have a gas mask, you can't go in. It's just, like, really toxic. Um, actually, there's this... I'll move on to that on the next station, actually. I'll tell you about that. In just a second. Uh, station B. Alright, we have a combat station here. But we have our, um, smoothies. We, uh, basically, you can make all these little... Uh, set recipe smoothies and then you can also go freestyle mode so just like mix some random ingredients um, in the chest here we have a few different heals we have fiber bandage heal butter 
green machine which just gives you hyper stamina and heals. We have a beefy fuzz on the rocks and a sticky hedge lord. Uh, basically on the, in the smoothie station you can have different bases. So you can have a grub sludge base which gives you normal. Uh, if you have a muscle sprout base you get a beefy extra meaty health bonus. And if you have a gum nugget you, the effect lasts longer. So yeah. Uh, there is one smoothie called Gastro Goo, which lets you uh, survive the haze. But the gas mask is usually my go-to, to be honest. Now, in this little cookery here, we have a few meals for heals as well. Uh, we have Tad... I'll just go in my inventory to show you them. Uh, Tad Polka Pudding, uh, which gives you well-fed meal, veteran diver and swim speed, which gives you like a lot more breathing and swim speed. The Termite Delight lets you harvest pebbles and grass faster. The Black Ox Burger, which is my favourite meal in the game, uh, gives you max health and damage resist. And then we have our Quesadantillion, uh, which gives you fawns and sizzle protection. Sizzles like uh, in a few areas of the game, including the sandbox and the uh, hot coals. And then we have our omelette, which gives us fawns. That's pretty cool. Alright. So, we could sort our inventory out over here, a little bit, but what, we're going to be fighting the lava, and um, I think they're resistant to stabbing and see from the top of my head, so, I don't know, we could probably just use our salt morning star, we'd be good to go. So, I'll just put some of these meals in my inventory. Termite Delight, Tad Polka Pudding, uh, Black Ox Burger... The tab polka pudding's not like really the best one because obviously it um, just gives you more breathing, but it still a, it still gives you heals. All right, here we have our healing set up, and we can go and try and find some lava to kill. All right, you can hear them under the ground. Come on, lava. I want to fight you. Probably not the best idea to go looking for fights like earlier in the game. But, uh, you can dig them up with a shovel, which I'm gonna, tr which I'm gonna try. Uh, there's also a thing called a grub, which is passive, but it it digs underground like the lava. So I don't know if we have grubs on our hands or not. Uh, the black ant shovel. There you go. Where are these still guys? <laughs> Sometimes hard to get them to come out. Anyway, beef jerky. you can eat that meal there. Uh, we could fight a different enemy though. The Orb Weaver. They're, they're quite a tough enemy for starting, but um, if you can get some blocking in, then it's fine. So we can eat one of our meals. Let's eat the Black Ox Burger before this fight. Crouch down over here. Oh, no. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. What you got, old Weaver? Oh, we got a little baby here. Oh, a perfect block him. Nice. Oh, another perfect block. Oh. That was a miss there. But yeah, those are the orb weavers. I forgot to peep them, which is kind of sad. Uh, we can go and do that over here, though, because I believe more for them. Yeah. So our regular orb weaver. And then our baby orb weaver, he's called the orb weaver junior. Let's see if we can find one of them to peep. Oh, that's an apid. It's a good source of food though, so um, don't mind if I do. Oh, turns out my inventory's full. Just a sec. Just gonna drink one of these smoothies for heals. And we've got the raw apid meat. Alright. Now, if we go over to... St <laughs> just ignore that there. That was, we weren't supposed to see that yet. Now, if we go over to Station C... Uh, 
If we see anything on the way, we can fight it, by the way. Just get a little bit of fighting in there. So if you go to Station C, there you go. Jump up here. Now, Station C is like a hunting station, so obviously you've got all your different meats, like you've got your apid, your, there's a weevil meat, so uh, on the roasting fire here, you can cook the apid for food, which is always good, and now we can try and find some other food. Now, um, basically, in the bottom left of my screen is my scabby. That shows me all my effects, which are underneath it. And now there's the water bar, the hunger bar, the health bar, and the stamina bar as well. There you go, got that apid. Alright, we've got an apid roast here, but my inventory's full. Uh, let's get rid of that sprig for now. Now we've got an apid roast, and we could just eat it. This gives you heals. Chewy, but not bad. And it's pretty good sometimes. Right, now, uh, don't really need any more of this apid meat actually, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. And I don't really need any might for something. I'm just gonna clear my inventory a little bit. Be careful what you get rid of this though, because sometimes it's valuable. Alright, uh, got some in this chest here. We got some uh, canteens. So, these let you hold water. Um, I don't have the basic canteen because it's creative mode, so you don't have the basic stuff. So the canteen plus, which lets you hold four scoops of liquid. So you could just go up to Fids. these and lollipops. do that. Or if you want to normally drink it without putting it in your canteen, just switch to like holding something else. Knock it down and then just slurp water it. Water filtration tablets needed. There you go. Uh, and then we also, that was the canteen plus which can hold four drops of water. We have the charcoal canteen which is a very late game one but it can hold six drops of water and you can scoop up the dirty water with, with this one but only this one because otherwise you'll get sick from it. You can actually drink it and it's fine. Otherwise it gives you an effect where it poisons you. Right. There's also, on the basis of food, there's also uh, some naturally found food you can get, uh, which is the mushrooms and acorn bits. You find acorn bits by breaking acorns with your hammer, and you find the mushrooms uh, where this white chicken bone is over here, under big toadstools. So I just go over here, like we did at spawn, there's like big red toadstools if you remember them. Yeah, right here, of our mushrooms. You can actually plant these later on, you can make mushroom farms. And you can actually chop down these big toadstools. And you can get toadstool chunks. So yeah. Um, if we go back to here... Right, now we're going to focus on base building. I know a lot of people like to build bases. It, now this game has a lot of options. Obviously, if I press up D-pad, there's all these building options. Now, because I'm in creative mode, I, I've unlocked all the recipes uh, uh, already. Hey, Mr. But Rant. in survival mode, you can unlock all of these. You just need to analyze stuff at the resource analyzers. Um, so yeah, um, you've got our floors, half floor, triangle floor, curved, and then same thing with the walls. All these, and then you can change materials as well. So you got the sturdy mushroom, grass, uh, clay foundation, pebble. There's so much stuff. And back here, you can change, uh, you can change materials as well. These are like your, and then these items are like your uh, functional items that do do stuff. So you got your roasting spit, cooks food, the garden patches to grow mushrooms and stuff, the jerky rack dries berries. Um, the smoothie station makes us movies, obviously. We've got a dew collector, which just collects dew. And then we got a lean to, which lets you sleep in it. And we got all these other things. But the video would be a bit too long if I went on about all of that. Anyway, 
Here are, we also have some decoration stuff. We've got some lighting, chairs, armor dummies. We've got all these stuffed bugs as well and these uh, bug head mounts, which are really cool. And in the new update that's coming out probably next week, the 1.1 update, is literally just about uh, stuffed stuffed bugs and, um, what do you call it, stuffed bugs and bug head mounts. So that's going to be really cool to see all them come out. Right. We have a more advanced base to go to after this one, um, which is really cool. It's like a late game base. So yeah, for the story, basically, you'd have to go in this oak tree and talk to this uh, robot called Burgle. And then he sets sets you on a mission to um, do some labs. And you can return chips back to him and he gives you more quests and unlocks more weapons and building stuff, which is really cool. Right. This is, this is probably going to be similar to your like first time base you know jerky back pretty simple just a humble grass hut over here you've got your basics you got your workbench your lean to your roasting spit your chest and then you also got a spinning wheel which like makes you uh get rope easier and then you got your grinder which lets you make plant fiber through different things so yeah and now as you've all been waiting for this little diamond sign as we see over here, this blue diamond, um, is our luxurious base. Now this base is probably like very, very late game. It's probably like after you've nearly finished the game. It's not, not many people would have this early on because it's built with like some of the most expensive materials and it's just a big base. Take oh my goodness. He found a wolf spider. He's a very scary, he can, he can smell us, but he's also kind of blind. Come on then. Get me, huh? What are you now, wolf spider? I have creative mode. Oh, perfect blood. Let's go. Yeah, get beaten up, bro. Oh, perfect blood. Oh my god, I'm clutching up. Bro, I never even perfect blocked this time. Perfect blocking is very hard to learn. Time that enemies attacks perfectly. I'm kind of winning though. I'm kind of winning at life right now. And he's dead. Just like that. And we got a muta our first mutation, Mifridism. If we scroll onto the status area, this gives us poison resist against the wolf siders, which is really cool. All right. Mm. Salt. Indeed, salt. Hey, Mr. Ant. All right. Oh, another wolf spider. Let's let's have a try him. We have Mifridism now, so we have a poison resist. I'm a little wolf spider. What are you now, huh? In survival mode, this just hurt a lot more though. If you didn't perfect lock them all. So I wouldn't advise doing this in actual survival mode. Oh, I missed that one. Really. No! I swear that was a... Oh. Oh no, all we must coming to join the party. Come on then. I can't perfect love at all beaver as well. I, I swear the wolf had is more predictable. He made it harder. Oh there you go. Well, that was uh, stressful. And another thing I mentioned, uh, if you kill enough of one bug, they can get annoyed at you in radio base, which is just lovely. Right, we have our advanced base here, which is we got some work, we got a workbench, roasting spit, lean to store chest, just the basic stuff, right? Over here we got our cookery, which you make the meals in. We got our spinning wheel, our glue masher, and our grinder. We got some little paintings up here, which is nice. 
and this building is built with the most expensive walls and the most expensive floors so that is a very late game a little balcony section over here <coughs> I know you build a sort of like this I uh, got a dew collector collecting water drops got some lighting and some chairs over here um, the chairs look kind of wonky but because they just wouldn't line up got some got an oven over here smithing station turret to defend our base and then we couldn't grow some mushrooms on this garden patch right here didn't build anything up here because the big leaf and then if you go down here got a little basketball hoop and uh, we've got a nice bed and under the stairs you got a fresh storage quite sneaky that stops food spoiling and if we go up here we have my big museum of all the stuffed uh, all, all the uh, bug head mounts which is looking pretty cool and now we have all our stuffed bugs over here it's pretty nice and to finish it off we have a little room with all uh, my weapons so yeah hope you guys like that one just a basic tutorial on the 